So, as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pushes for further support from Western world leaders, Russian President Vladimir Putin says Moscow wants to end and have negotiations about ending the war, but in the meantime, we'll find ways to counter military support provided to Ukraine from G7 nations. Ian Jin with this report. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky this week visited the White House and also addressed Congress in the khaki fatigues that have been his public uniform throughout the 300 days of conflict. During his visit, Washington reaffirmed its continued support for Ukraine, confirming that the U.S. will supply the Patriot Air Defense Missile System to Ukraine as a part of a $1.86 billion U.S. dollar military aid package. The Patriot missiles are a part of an advanced surface-to-air defense system capable of shooting down cruise missiles, aircraft, and short-range ballistic missiles. After the White House's promise for continued and unwavering U.S. support, Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Thursday that Russia wants to end the war in Ukraine and that would inevitably involve a diplomatic situation. One way or another, all armed conflicts end with some kind of negotiations on the diplomatic track. And we never refused. It's the leadership of Ukraine that has forbidden itself to negotiate. On Thursday, following Putin's remarks that he would find a way to counter the Patriot Air Defense Missile System, the finance ministers of the Group of Seven Wealthy Nations, the G7, mobilized up to 32 billion U.S. dollars in economic support for Ukraine next year. The ministers added that they are prepared to give more if needed. Therefore, we as a G7 have made it very clear today that we will not reduce our support for Ukraine, not over the festive season and not in the new year. Not as long as Russia is waging this brutal war of aggression, which is against international law. There still remains some skepticism among the House Republicans about continuing such full support to Ukraine. Volodymyr Zelensky tried to get their backing during his speech to the U.S. Congress, saying that the financial support Ukraine is getting is not charity, rather it is an investment in global security and democracy. Ian Jin, Arirang News.